Valerie and today I'm going to talk about the Supergirl first look video from CBS. Now make no mistake, I came here to squee and chew bubblegum and my orthodontist took away my bubblegum. I have not watched anyone else's reaction to the first look video. It's much longer than a conventional trailer and I think maybe it's some form of what they showed at the network upfronts. They had me at My name is Kara Zorel. Now this makes me happy for two reasons. One, it's what you hear at the beginning of Arrow, it's what you hear at the beginning of Flash, it's what you hear at the beginning of iZombie. It kind of places it within the DC TV realm. But the second reason, ever since 1998, when Kara Inze turned up as the Supergirl on Superman the Animated Series, Supergirl has been Kara. And I thought I was over that. But then I heard, my name is Kara Zorel, and I realized I wasn't over it. I was just resigned to it. So with apologies to all of the Karas out there, Kara is Kara again. She has uh, The name has always been Kara in my head since I was first reading the comics as a little tiny kid. And she's Kara again and it makes me so happy. When that promo image first came out showing the costume, um, of course being a customer I was first looking at the costume, but my husband said something that I think is really important. He said, she looks like a person. No shade on Laura Vandervoort. She's perfectly competent. On Smallville, it's very clear the House of L produces scientific geniuses and Abercrombie and Fitch models. And Melissa Benoist is adorable, but she's pretty in the way of that person that you know at work who's really pretty. I liked Kara on Smallville. I liked Laura Vandervoort's acting. I liked the way that she was characterized. Kara needs to be someone you could know, even though she is a Kryptonian with these incredible powers and incredible abilities. Her personality is, I am a regular person. I am someone who could be your best friend. And that is something that's always been really important to me about her. And so what I am seeing of the Kara who is getting used to her new job, and getting used to her new place in life as an adult. This is definitely a millennial Supergirl in some really interesting ways. That is who she is. That's who she's always been. And that's something that's super important to me and I'm really, really excited to see and see just the enthusiasm for life and for finding her place and for doing things that matter that is just radiating off of Melissa Benoist. I love this. Is it Benoist? I don't even know. I'm just going to say Benoist until I find out differently. You always wanted to be normal. Something that's really, really important about Kara as distinct from Clark is that she had a childhood as an ordinary person. So she has these memories of being normal, of being a regular person like everyone else around her, and then she came to Earth and that was gone. So the adorable oh ha ha, she's fumbling with the, the coffee and whatever that's happening at the beginning of that video is her saying, I am going to be normal, damn it. And then it happens. She realizes not only is that not going to happen, but maybe she doesn't want it to. And that is, and the way that her, the joy that she has in discovering how it feels to save people and how it feels to use these gifts in a way that can give back to this world that has taken her in, I feel like is portrayed just incredibly well and I'm so excited to see the whole series, I can't even. Can we take a moment to ponder the perfection of Cat Grant as head of a media empire? In the 21st century, in the age of social media, in the age of the 24 hour news cycle, I really can't think of a single character in the journalistic realm of the DC Universe who I can see more at the head of a media empire than Cat Grant. And it's Callista Flockhart, who is hilarious and scary 
and like right on point and that speech about what's wrong with girl it doesn't have to be belittling and it doesn't have to be infantilizing is Kat's position um, for the most part I agree with that position even if you don't it's interesting to see the discussion happening between these two women on the show and it's going to be interesting to see where that goes I like Jeremy Jordan. I never thought I would see him as basically Ducky from Pretty in Pink. Um, thankfully, way less annoying than Ducky. Ducky had a bad case of nice guy-itis. Um, this, this guy at least, you know, actually asks her out for one thing. Well, okay, she's not into me. She's still cool. We can still hang out. I can still help her. And the whole thing with the costume, oh, it's such a jab at how extreme the midriff costume has gotten in the comics at some points. This is not who Supergirl is. Move on. I love the costume. When the promo image came out, I wasn't 100% sold on the dark tights. I'm still not 100% sold on them but I am not sure what other choice they could have made that would serve the purpose of making it very clear that she is wearing actual tights. I like the tall boots. I like, I love the skirt, very classic silhouette. The S is the other thing I wasn't entirely sure about in the promo image. Um, seeing her in motion, seeing her in context, it makes it just that much subtler without having to take her color palette down. Mikad Brooks, as Jimmy Olsen, A plus casting. Love the dynamic with her sister. They disagree, but they have this really strong bond and they've come to understand each other and it's just, it just looks like it's gonna be really nice. David Harwood, I like that character. I like the dynamic that is developing between them and the, you know, the, the, little, the little arc that we see of him learning to respect her that I think will probably be an ongoing thing and that too is reflective of this being a millennial supergirl. You know, here you have this very young person just starting out in life saying, hey, this is what I have to contribute. Don't tell me to go fetch coffee. I can do more than that. So that's it. That is my squee. I really feel like this is gonna be my happy place this fall. If you're gonna join me there, I'd love to hear about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You want to hear more, please subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye. She's Kara, you guys. She's Kara. <laughs>